Hey guys, in this quick tutorial I want to show you how you can start your filter automatically, which means when the user hits the record button, the filter starts automatically. As an example, I will use this random generator filter we did in a previous video. I will link the video here in the corner. So this um, filter starts at the moment when I tap on the screen. So when I tap the screen, it starts to rotate and lands on an option. But yeah, now I want this filter to start automatically. So let's go to the patch editor. Here you can see I have this screen tap patch which is connected to a switch and this switch yeah, starts all the things we have to do to start this random generator. So um, to start this filter automatically we have to um, yeah, get a new patch and we get this patch from the scene panel. So here you see this camera object and now drag and drop this camera object into the patch editor and you will get this purple ca camera patch in the patch editor and here you will find the video recording output and you have to connect this video recording output to the turn on input of the switch. So this connection um, gets away and we get this new connection and Spark AR also creates automatically this pulse patch for us. But now keep in mind that the filter starts exactly when the user hits the record button. So this um, yeah, card will not be visible to the viewer of the story. So we need to add a bit of delay. So um, most of the time I add a one to two second delay. And for this just add a delay patch and then connect the output of the pulse to the input of the delay and the output of the delay go goes to the turn on of the switch. So now just set the duration to one or two seconds or maybe more if you have more text to read and now the filter should start automatically then um, a two second delay and then it starts rotating. You can't test the automatic feature here in the Spark AR Studio which means you have to send it to your um, yeah, preview player or to your Instagram app. So just send it to it and then you can test it in your app or in the player. So um, I hope I could help you with this video. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to this channel, it would be cool when you subscribe to it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.